Hi folks, this is John coming back again with another article here. This time, this one is from the Smoke Reporter. I found this interesting. This was published on August 28th of 2015. And uh, what this shows us here is, uh, or I should say the title of the study is Cannabis Study, Full Spectrum Cannabis Extracts More Medically Effective Than CBD Alone. So I wanted to find out a little bit about this and see what this actually entailed here. It says here cannabidiol CBD has been the focus of many medical cannabis studies and continues to prove itself as a powerful anti-inflammatory drug. What makes CBD even more desirable for some patients is that it does not cause the psychoactive effects associated with tetrahydrocannabinol or THC. An extremely interesting study, overcoming the bell-shaped dose response of cannabidiol by using cannabis extract enriched in cannabidiol, was just published out of the Lautenberger Center for General and Tumor Immunology in Jerusalem. So, uh, real quick, I'm going to stop there and just mention that if people are discovering irrefutable science, breakthrough discoveries, does it really matter where these breakthrough, uh, breakthroughs and discoveries are being found and discovered for it to be applicable to all humans? That's the question that I, um, that I hope to be able to address to be able to bring forth a more intelligent conversation on the topic. Because when you talk about human physiological processes and any laws that hinder them, then I would imagine there would be some pretty huge ramifications when that information comes out. Moving forward with the article, though, as a short footnote, uh, the study examines the effectiveness of administering isolated cannabinoid extracts, a CBD-only formula, versus whole plant extracts, which contain the full range of the plant's cannabinoid content. And we got a picture of um, a um, cannabis plant here and the bud of the plant. Um, the Hadassah Medical School at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem sought to compare the effectiveness of a completely purified CBD extract versus a full-spectrum extract of cannabis flowers containing large quantities of CBD. The conclusion of the study was the whole plant extract which contained a large percentage of CBD but also contained traces of other cannabinoids proved far more effective than CBD only solutions in alleviating inflammation and pain sensation. Not to say that CBD does not have the medical benefits in which it's already proved that it does, but this is a footnote of the synergistic aspects of the cannabinoids being utilized together in human physiological processes determined by measurement. Uh, so the study here demonstrates that the whole plant extract containing the entire range of the cannabinoids present in raw cannabis will continue to provide relief for inflammation as the dose is increased. When supplied as an isolated cannabinoid extract, CBD on its own yielded a bell curve of effectiveness, which is not desirable for medical treatments seeking effective relief that corresponds with the dosage. Interesting. So they're pointing out the synergistic medical properties of the cannabinoid or the complete cannabinoid content profile of the plant to be utilized and consumed together. Uh, the materials used uh, were plants, animals, and extracts. Um, the purified CBD was acquired from THC Farm, uh, it's Frankfurt, Germany, to act as the pharmaceutical grade isolated extract for the whole plant extract flowers from the clone 202 proprietary strain Avidecal were supplied by the government approved growers, Tikkun Olam Company. Interesting. Bred to be rich in CBD, the raw flowers of this whole plant extract were ground up and cannabinoids were extracted using the solvent ethanol. Interesting that they used that. 
The pure CBD extract and the full spectrum extract were formulated for both injection and oral administration. So a couple different things there. The tests were performed on ethically approved lab mice from Hadassa Medical School in addition to a control group. The commercial drugs aspirin and tramadol were used on separate sets of mice to further compare the effectiveness of synthetic isolation versus whole plant uh, extracts. The study was represented by 10 to 12 mice per treatment group using known laboratory methods for measuring reductions in inflammation and pain sensation described in length uh, in the study which I will provide a link for at the bottom of this video. Uh, the results clearly showed the medical benefit of extracting all the different compounds from the entirety of the raw cannabis flower rather than extraction of a single cannabinoid. And there's our little friend. Check him out. And he, we're healing. We're healing him. Making him feel good. And that's good stuff. I don't like the negative... Um, um, scientific trials going on with the animals that's just another topic in and of itself uh, the results of CBD versus full spectrum on inflammation and pain I'm just gonna go over this last little part here and allow um, allow you guys to be able to go and look at the actual results of the study and look at it more in depth we're just gonna jump to the conclusion here in terms of the cannabinoid synergy more effective against swelling as we have uh, the measurement capabilities to determine such. Cannabis studies continue to legitimize the medical relevance of the different cannabinoids. However, this study shows the importance of treating ailments using the full range of cannabinoids available. Galilee, Yechtim, and Hannes, the authors of this study from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, conclude that cannabis extracts, specifically cannabidiol, can be more effective for anti-inflammation treatment than the familiar commercial drugs on pharmacy shelves today. Now that's a statement, folks. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the science and let the science guide us on terms of... Uh, policy creation and adjustments in amending the this study here is important because it confirms the importance of cannabis as both medication and the natural plant many pharmaceutical companies have been trying to create synthetic derivatives of the different cannabinoids but it turns out that the entirety of the raw cannabis plant is more beneficial than a single isolated cannabinoid so that's interesting uh, the results of this study are extremely promising for the future of cannabis science and medicine. And so uh, that was an article that was published on the 28th year of August 2015 uh, from the Smoke Reports. And this is John bringing you another science fact on cannabis.